So since finding a mathematical proof for showing the intractability of the problems that Alice, Bob and Carol are working on seems to be rather hard, we're first going to start with gathering evidence that their problems might be intractable. Of course, we don't yet really know if their problems really are intractable, because as we have just seen, there are also arguments why their problems could actually be tractable, because just having an exponential number of solutions does not necessarily mean that their problems are difficult. But we're going to see how it turns out. So how can we gather evidence that the problems of Alice, Bob and Carol could be intractable? One way could be what we have done in the last unit, and that is, if you recall, in the last unit we showed that all of these three problems are either tractable or intractable. So one way to gather evidence that they are intractable is to find more and more problems for which we also don't know polynomial time algorithms and connect them to the problems that we know. So once if we had this huge network of problems where we say if we find a polynomial time algorithm for just one of them, all of them would be solvable in polynomial time, but nobody has yet found such an algorithm, that would already be rather strong evidence that also click, vertex cover and independent set might be hard. So we might, for example, end up with thousands of highly relevant problems for which no one has so far found a polynomial time algorithm. And if they're all connected, that would be not a mathematical proof, but it would be a somewhat convincing body of evidence for these problems hardness. And in fact, I will introduce you to such a collection of problems at the end of this unit, and we'll also have a closer look in the next units. But today, actually, we're going to do something that is a little bolder. We're still not going to be able to achieve a mathematical proof of intractability, but we're going to do something that I would say is somewhere in between gathering evidence and a mathematical proof. And the way we're going to do this is as follows. I'm going to introduce to you a type of computer that is extremely powerful. So powerful, in fact, that no one has ever conceived if it could actually be built. And then what I'll show you is that if there was a polynomial time algorithm for vertex cover or click or independent set, that would be like having a blueprint for this super powerful computer. We won't be able to show that it's impossible to build such a computer, but it is pretty good evidence that those three problems up here are very tough problems to solve. So what makes this computer that I'm about to introduce to you so powerful? Well, roughly speaking, it's so powerful because it has the capability to guess things for us. And it will guess them correctly, but you're going to see in a minute what I mean by that. First of all, let's have a look once more at the three problems, click, vertex, cover, and independent set, and have a look at how a machine that would be capable of guessing things for us could potentially make the solution to these problems very easy. And we're going to do this as a quiz. And what I would like you to think about is what the three problems we have been talking about so far have in common. And I'm going to give you a number of choices, and I would like you to tell me which ones of these you think are true. There can be more than one. So there's four possible choices here. And again, more than one of these can be true. So what do all of these three problems up here have in common? Choice number one, we have not found a polynomial time algorithm for them yet. Choice number two, they are not practically relevant. Choice number three, the simple algorithms that we have found so far go through an exponential number of solutions. And finally, for those simple algorithms, for any given zero and one assignment to the vertices. So we have already assigned the values of zero and one to them. It is relatively easy to figure out if that assignment is a valid solution. And if it is a valid solution, how large that solution is. So please check all of these that are correct.